Hello YouTubers, 133 megahertz here and for today I'm going to do a little introduction to rebuilding your own laptop batteries. Well first of all I've got these two laptops for pretty cheap recently uh, this one is a Pentium 2 processor with one 16 megabytes of RAM and a 10 gig hard drive and this one is a Pentium 3 processor at 800 megahertz with uh, 256 megabytes of RAM with a 20 gig hard drive. And I like to collect old computers, and this ones I think are pretty cool. Uh, especially this one, you can play lots of DOS games in it. It's got some blaster emulation. You can practically play every early PC game on this one, and it runs perfectly. And this one is a pretty decent machine, even for today's standards. You can practically do anything on this machine except for watching high definition video and play modern PC games. Uh, but these two laptops share a common problem. Their batteries were totally dead. And obviously these laptops are pretty old and this one is more than ten years old. So of course the battery is pretty waste and it could not hold any charge. So what should I do? I looked on I looked up online, I searched for a replacement battery and a replacement battery for this model was like hundred dollars and I think that's complete bullshit since I paid le way less than hundred dollars for this laptop and I paid hundred dollars just for a battery but uh, laptop batteries have something cool to come while, uh, while laptop batteries themselves are not standard between models as in you can put a laptop battery from this model into this one laptop batteries are uh, are made of lithium ion cells. Uh, these are made from lithium ion cells connected in, in certain configurations, series and parallel, uh, to get the necessary voltage and current for the laptop to run. So while the batteries themselves are not standard, uh, the cells themselves the cells themselves are. Uh, you can think of them as oversized AA batteries. See, I have two of them here. These are lithium ion cells. It look like oversized double A's. So technically, if you could get the battery out, open it up, you'll see uh, you'll see lots of these cells connected in series. Uh, you could take out these bad cells, replace them with good ones, and you have a brand new battery. So I'm going to put up this theory to the test. I'm going to take out the battery from this laptop. Here it is. In pretty funny shape, I must say. So, one problem is that these batteries are sealed shut. Of course, the manufacturer doesn't want people to tamper with these things. But if you like to tinker with stuff, you have a basic uh, understanding of electricity and you know how to solder, you can, you can rebuild your own batteries and save a bunch of money. So, uh, you must get the, you must get the case open, and you could use a Dremel a Dremel tool to cut along this line to pry it open the case, or you could stick a butter knife and exacto knife or something to pry the case open with quite a bit of force. Mm. Well, you can use any method that you can that you can possibly imagine to get the laptop battery open, but try not to damage it too much because you won't be able to to close it up together and get into the laptop. Uh, what did I do with this battery? Well, uh, since it's got this really funny shape, I, I started to twist it like this, and this twisting action uh, was good enough to loosen up the glue that was holding the battery casing together. So after a few twisting motions, the battery was, the casing was completely loose, and I could remove it, open it up, pry it open with my bare hands and I'm going to demonstrate that right now I can open up this bad boy with my bare hands let's see let's see this little side of it here there we go battery is open you can see what I was telling you these, are the, these ones are the lithium ion cells you can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six of them. This circuit board right here is a charge controller. Uh, 
this contains a little microprocessor which is, which which function which function is to to monitor the charge condition of the batteries and to inform the computer's power management about them and controls the charge current and the overcurrent and any possible condition that could happen with these batteries. So uh, uh, each of these cells is 3.6 volts. Uh, uh, this set of cells right here, these three cells, they're connected in series. This other set is also connected in series, and each of these sets is connected in parallel with each other to get a uh, uh, 10.8 volts. And so if you could, if if you can solder, you can use soldering iron, and you can and you have a basic understanding of electricity, you can desolder these cells uh, with soldering iron, take them out, uh, put new fresh cells in here, which you can buy online at electronics at online electronics retailers, and basically you you can have your you can get a brand new battery and save a bunch, cause. A replacement battery like this at an online an online retailer is a hundred dollars, but each of these cells is about uh, three bucks, I think, in any online electronics dealer. So you can you can do the math. If you replace if you replace the cells, three bucks each, uh, it's about twenty dollars really beats the hell out of paying a hundred dollars for a complete battery. Um, so, uh, the battery for this laptop, I already replaced the cells in this one. Uh, here's three of the original cells uh, that that battery used uh, a nine cell design. And here's the battery for this one, this laptop. And here's the replaced cells. I replaced the cells. These are the new ones I bought in, a, in an electronics dealer. These were these were three bucks each, so three by nine, uh, twenty-seven dollars versus hundred. So you can clearly see you can save a lot of money by rebuilding your own batteries. Um, so what I'm going to do? I'm going to take this these cells out. I'm going to replace them with, with these fresh cells, and I'm going to try it out. So, I wanted to show you this, and I want some feedback from you. Uh, I'll probably put a next, uh, probably the next video I'll put up uh, will be with uh, this battery uh, holding up these cells, and I'll try it out on the new laptop. So, as my friend Luke Morse would say, I'll probably put an another video up soon, so thanks for watching.